What is Wi-Fi marketing? This is a short video about Wi-Fi marketing, about its applications and uses, and how it may be useful to your business, especially if you run a bricks and mortar retail or hospitality business. My name is Pater Gormley from MyPlaceConnect.com. We develop software solutions specifically for Wi-Fi marketing. Uh, if you want to learn more, then you can go to our website. It's MyPlaceConnect.com. But now we're going to continue on with the topic of Wi-Fi marketing. And Wi-Fi marketing essentially is an umbrella term for lots of different technologies, but it's kind of used, generally speaking, as a, as, as, as a, as a, as a catch-all term. Um, it's based around proximity of, 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 of venues. So because Wi-Fi is very venue-specific, it's all about proximity, being within a certain venue. And it, it spreads out to other, other technologies. So we'll, we'll start off just with a brief overview of the types of Wi-Fi marketing. So there's three main main types. So there's data capture and CRM. So this is the this is the, 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 the purpose of capturing as much user data as possible. Whether you email them directly or you put them into CRM like Salesforce or, or MailChimp. That is a function of Wi-Fi marketing. It's the, the purpose of to get as much data as you possibly can from your guests, from your customers and put it directly into CRM. Secondly, the second group is presence analytics. And this is typically anonymized data, so you're not getting the email addresses or, or phone numbers from the guests, but you're, you're, you're getting anonymized da data for the purposes of, of tracking returning users, how they move throughout your store, and we'll talk about it in, in a minute. And then the final one is online review generation, which is probably for busy, busy, uh, busy venue owner is probably the, the one that generates the most value. This essentially takes the data that's collected and integrates that data with re popular review sites like Google and TripAdvisor, and it generates automatically reviews for the premises. It's very, very powerful and probably the most powerful for if you want to automate stuff and you don't maybe don't have the resources to do regular email marketing. This is a set it and forget it type of type of uh, feature. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, very good. So to start off with um, with some use cases, email capture is a no-brainer, obviously. It just allows you to capture the email of the guest. We've always been told that data is a new gold. Uh, the online companies are very good at capturing capturing data. Unfortunately, people in hospitality are not quite as, as good at that, so they need to, the first step is to get the data, and, and, and the Wi-Fi email capture is a very, very 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 good way of doing that CRM integration obviously when you get the data you must integrate to your CRM uh, behavioral data so this so this is where this is where you get a little bit more context uh, from the data you have so this is for example the date they were last there if you want to do a campaign based on people who hadn't been in your venue for six months you could do a, a campaign based on last visit uh, visit frequency is a measure of customer loyalty. So these are all these are all behavioral data points that, that are very useful um, in context. Customer type: if they go to the spa in the hotel, are they going to be interested in the conference rooms that you're trying to sell on your email campaign? Probably not. So this allows you to 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 segment your user by customer type. Is something that that all good systems do. Event tracking is if you wanted to create special events and you wanted to segment that data set per event, that's all possible. Uh, footfall counting and dwell time. This is we're now moving into the realm of of uh, presence analytics. So if you you could very simply it's like this is like Google Analytics for a retail store or a hospitality store. So you see how many visitors you have, how long they stay there, um, if they if they repeat visitors, if they come back. Now, because it's anonymized, it's not you can't contact them per se, but the data is very important in its own right, so it's a very important one. And building on that, then what you could do then, and, and this is if you had a bigger place, say for example a shopping center, you could map the user journey flow. So how, so when a person comes into a, a shopping center, how they move throughout that center. Uh, so. If you had a shopping center and you had some really quiet zones on the top floor uh, and you wanted to figure out how people move around the center and you wanted to get them to go there, you could you could do things physically to, to if you have the knowledge of how people move around, then you, you can make you can affect that change. 
Beacons are an interesting one. Uh, it's well, not specifically Wi-Fi. They're definitely definitely in the proximity space. Beacons are little devices, little beacons. They can put many, many of them around a venue, and they emit a signal. Um, what they're they're very good. They're excellent, uh, excellent technology. The only issue is you must have a, a, a relevant app on your phone, and that is that is the challenge with beacons. It's still early enough in, in that space. Very effective if the user has the app. If they don't have the app, it can it kind of can be limited enough. Social check-ins another element of uh, of, of Wi-Fi marketing. This allows users to check in to the to a store to a restaurant, for example. Uh, you check in on Facebook. There's there are some issues that I'd read about in the blog around that. It's it's not always the easiest one to do. Then go back to the, the, my point earlier on about automating online reviews, and this this is the this is the the strongest area because we're, everybody's busy. They don't have the time to do regular campaigns. If you're a small operation like a restaurant owner, you don't you you might just want to 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 to, to get a system that just automatically does your marketing for you. Uh, and this is one one element of Wi-Fi marketing that's really 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 important and really valuable, and will continue to get better. Uh, so, for example. If you take your data and integrate with TripAdvisor, you will increase your number of reviews by 400%. Uh, and they're invariably, we have that evidence, not going to go through it in detail on this video. We have evidence uh, on, our, on our site showing that it's, it's a positive slant as opposed to a negative slant on standard reviews. So that's really it. Uh, that's a, it's, a, it's a very interesting space, Wi-Fi marketing. There's lots of use cases. There is lots of use cases to come. And if you want to learn more about our product, you can find it on myplaceconnect.com. Thank you for watching.